The first thing I want you to do is to click on to here, file and blank database. So if you go into Microsoft Access, go to file new, this comes up, blank database, click here. This will say what do you want, where do you want to keep it and you say right I want to keep it access YouTube or wherever you want to but here's the most important thing don't call it DB1 that's an awful name for because it's the, it's the default comes up here so call it Jack Barnett 21 or whatever is your decision but give it a name create now you can see what it's done here it said create a table in design view create a table using the wizard create a table by entering data for the moment we're trying to create a simple table so let's go into design view click here and this comes up okay let's see how let's get it up to there okay first thing field name databases are made of tables tables are made of records records are made of fields so let's start off by making a field the first field I want to do is a number an automatic number database will do that so let's, let's say ID number. Click to the type of data that you're using and you can see text, memo, number, date time, let's try again, automatic, automatic number. These are uh, uh, notes that I'll just write. This is for a unique number created automatically. You don't have to do anything, you just click it and it automatically comes up. I'll put a space there. Not a space, an underscore. Alright. First name. Obviously that's text. Family underscore name. Again, that's text address text let's put postcode text I'm going to put date of birth now if I come here and look at that date time is that as much as I want no, I want one more. Students Union. Students Union. Are you a member of the Students Union? I'm taking it you're a student doing this. Yes, no. That's as much as I want to put into this very first table. So I'll save, save that and I'll call this student table okay it comes up with this emergency message there is no primary key defined so do I want a primary key yes what it's saying is databases search through numbers alright things like the ID number they do their first search if you want to you can make this your unique first search so I'll do that okay there's the primary key there right so I've saved that now let's change over from design into data entry here's my data entry so let's enter some data Jack Barnett address 10 Downing Street postcode 
ds1 date of birth 25th December 1955 do I want to become a member of the student union yes next one Gordon Brown gosh he also lives at 10 Downing Street I'd better change mine to 9 Downing Street 10 Downing Street DS2 he's much older than I am I'm sure 24 12 54 one nine five four. All right, I'm going to save that. Now you can see how I'm building up my records. All right, I have one record there. I have two records there. That. Now I can save that. Close that. Close that one there. Now, when I go back to my first step in access there you can see it student table if I want to look at it I double click and I get to there if I want to change the design I click on to here alright so I can go into design I can go into the look of the records that's my first lesson in database work thank you